The following is a video series reviewing the top 20 most common bird species found in St. Joseph and Elkhart counties of Indiana. The data was gathered from eBird.org, a website used to record bird sightings and observations. The report covers the past 10 years, 2010 to 2020, of observations in St. Joseph and Elkhart counties. It represents the most commonly reported, not necessarily the most abundant. This methodology helps to standardize the data between birds that travel in large groups and those that are more solitary. Coming in at number 13 is the red-winged blackbird, or the Aegelus phoenicus. The red-winged blackbird is part of the family Icteridae, or the blackbird family. The red-winged blackbird is a medium-sized blackbird, which is sexually dimorphic. Sexual dimorphism means that the males and females look different. The illustration on the left is the male, which is black all over and with a bright red wing patches. Sometimes the red patch is underlined with a lighter yellow or orange. The female is on the right and is one of the most misidentified birds in our region. They look nothing like the male and sort of resemble an oversized finch or sparrow. The female is brown with heavy streaking all over her body. Sometimes the female has a little tinge of yellow around the base of their bills, which can help identify them in the field, distinguishing them from other brown streaky birds. The red-winged blackbird is anywhere between 6.7 to 9.1 inches in length, with the males on the larger end and the females on the smaller end of that range. Here are some pictures of the red-winged blackbird. As you can see, the red wing patches really stand out on the males against that all black body. On the other hand, the female's plumage is much more discreet, allowing them to blend in with their surroundings. This camouflage helps the females hide better while on their nest. Here is a map of the distribution of the red winged blackbird. They are found across the entire contiguous United States, Canada, and some even make their way into Alaska. They are shown on this map as a year-round resident to Indiana. However, many of them do migrate south during the winter. They migrate in flocks during the day. The males migrate before females in the spring and then after females in the fall. Red-winged blackbirds live primarily in freshwater wetlands. They also live in grasslands and old agricultural fields where tall grasses and sedges have taken over most of the habitat. Red-winged blackbirds are commonly found perching atop tall grasses and sedges that border a wetland or freshwater lake or pond. When in open fields and grasslands, the red-winged blackbirds will forage on the ground by hopping around. Like other blackbirds, the red-winged blackbirds are a social bird, and they flock together. They will even join flocks of other blackbird species, which can pose a challenge if trying to identify them in the field. Red-winged blackbirds are also very territorial in an effort to protect their nest. The species will mob other birds, especially crows and birds of prey, like eagles, that come too close to their nesting grounds. Mobbing is when they chase other birds in flight, as shown in this photo of a red-winged blackbird mobbing a bald eagle. If you catch a glimpse of this behavior in action, you might even see the blackbird fly into the larger bird, hitting it on its back. Red-winged blackbirds have even been known to show aggression towards humans that come too close to their nest and will mob or dive bomb at people's heads. The red-winged blackbird often calls when perched. When they vocalize, the red patches on their wings ruffle up a bit, as shown in this photo. Speaking of their call, the red-winged blackbird has a very distinct call, often described as conqueree. Let's take a listen. <coughs> Shh. 
Their call note is a series of chinks at varying pitches. Let's take a listen here. The red-winged blackbird is an omnivore, meaning they eat both plants and insects. Their diet changes throughout the year. During the breeding season, they forage on mostly insects, and during the non-breeding season, they forage on corn, grain, wheat seeds, and tree seeds. Are red-winged blackbirds feeder birds? Yes, they will frequent feeders, especially during migration or when the feeders are near their natural habitat like wetlands or grasslands. Red-winged blackbirds will eat a variety of food from feeders, including black oil sunflower seed, hold sunflower seed, safflower, niger, cracked corn, peanut hearts, millet, oats, and milo. While they typically eat from the ground, they will also feed from hoppers and platform-style feeders. The red-winged blackbird's average clutch size is two to three eggs. They construct a cup-shaped nest amongst several vertical support shoots from grasses and sedges in wetlands. The nesting materials include mud, string, wet grasses, leaves, and other vegetation. Of course, this is not a bird that is in major trouble here in Indiana, but let's take a look at its worldwide status. In 2018, the red-winged blackbird was considered least concerned by the IUCN Red List. This means that the species population does not qualify as threatened or endangered. With that said, it was found that there is a decreasing trend in the red-winged blackbird's population worldwide. Reasons at this point are unknown. And what about the red-winged blackbird's vulnerability to climate change? Remember, climate change is the term used to refer to the Earth's average increase in global temperatures in the last 50 years due to human activity. The temperature rising just slightly, think only a few degrees, can have a massive impact on birds. In 2019, National Audubon Society released their publication of the Survival by Degrees 389 Bird Species on the Brink, which focused on bird species' risk of extinction due to climate change. Their report found that for northern Indiana, the red-winged blackbird is considered to be at a low risk of extinction due to climate change. Now let's review some other bird species that are sometimes confused with the red-winged blackbird in our region. Red-winged blackbirds flock in large groups, often with other blackbird species. From afar, it might be difficult to discern the difference between the two species. However, closer up or with a good pair of binoculars, there are some key differences to look out for in helping you determine which blackbird is which. Beginning birders often confuse red-winged blackbirds with other blackbirds, such as the European starling. As shown in these pictures, the red-winged blackbirds are jet black all over, with the exception of their red or orange patches on their wings, whereas European starlings have white speckles all over their body. The red-winged blackbird's beak and legs are always black, which is not the same for the European starling, whose bill turns yellow during the breeding season. Another blackbird commonly confused with the red-winged blackbird is the common grackle. The common grackle is very common in northern Indiana, just like red-winged blackbirds, and they can also be seen in similar habitats. Keep in mind that the red-winged blackbird will have red or orange wing patches, which the common grackle lacks. Also, the common grackle's tail is longer than the red-winged blackbird's tail, and they tend to have an iridescent bluish hue on their black feathers. Finally, common grackles are overall larger birds than the red-winged blackbird. Some may even confuse American crows for red-winged blackbirds. Again, look for the red-orange wing patches, characteristic of the red-winged blackbirds. Another good indicator here is size, because the American crow is almost double in size of the red-winged blackbird. Finally, the brown-headed cowbird could potentially confuse beginning birders for a red-winged blackbird. 
just like the other common blackbirds discussed before, look for the red-orange wing patches on the red-winged blackbirds. Also, like the name suggests, the brown-headed cowbird will have a brown head, which red-winged blackbirds lack. Now we will look at two other bird species that the red-winged blackbird could possibly be confused for. These last two species are far less common than the others we just discussed, but they do still occur in Indiana from time to time. The first is the brewer's blackbird. As you can see in this photo, brewer's blackbirds are also black all over. However, the brewer's blackbird lacks those red-orange wing patches that the red-winged blackbird has. Also, the brewer's blackbird has a whitish yellowish eye, whereas the red-winged blackbird's eyes are always black. Finally, we will compare the red-winged blackbird to the rusty blackbird, which unfortunately has become increasingly less common here in Indiana due to a decline in their species population. While they are mostly black all over, the rusty blackbird lacks the red-orange wing patches that the red-winged blackbird has. Also, just like the Brewer's Blackbird, Rusty Blackbirds have light colored eyes compared to the Red Winged Blackbird's black eyes. Finally, the Rusty Blackbird will have more of a rusty colored plumage during the winter, which of course is how they get their name. Before closing, let's compare the female Red Winged Blackbird to a similar looking species in our region. Like mentioned before, the female red-winged blackbird is one of the most commonly misidentified birds of our region because they look nothing like their male counterparts. Some birders might mistake a female red-winged blackbird for a song sparrow. Not only do they share similar characteristics physically, but their habitat is also very similar. With a closer look, one can discern some key differences between these two species. First of all, female red-winged blackbirds are larger than song sparrows. Also, the dark streaking on the song sparrow's chest coalesces into a central spot. Finally, the song sparrow's bill is shorter and more conical shaped when compared to the female red-winged blackbird. Thank you for watching the video on number 13, the red-winged blackbird, commonly found in St. Joseph and Elkhart counties of Indiana. For more information on other common birds found in this region, please visit sbeaudubon.org. The sources for this video are listed in the video description.